the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Mm, that's just something to talk about, think about. Because we ain't say nobody's name, did we? We ain't say nobody's name. If you, if you speak, you speak for yourself. <laughs> uh, is more, what else we got? What else you got? I, I left the altar one out because they were talking about, I, I didn't use that. I'm just letting people know. Remember, I'm swearing by the altar, what's yeah. greater. He was talking about that. So that's up to people today because that's not so much applying today. I guess you're talking about, we have pulpits and stuff, but not that yeah. altar where blood sacrifice was going on. Well, okay. I mean, the bottom line truth is there there is no more altar because no. we had the last sacrifice, exactly. the perfect sacrifice. And exactly. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So what you got? What you got? War here? to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites again, <laughs> for ye pay tithes of mint and and, and anis and cumin, and mm -hmm. have com omitted the weightier matters of the law. The weightier matter, brother. Yeah, money what a, what are they? Is, is less than judgment, mercy, mm. and faith. They, they do judgment, These but ought they... ye to have done mm -hmm. and not to leave the other undone. And I'd like do to do both. It. Come on, do both. <laughs> do right? both. There's a judgment, accountability, but there's also a mercy yeah. and faith. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Look, ooh, what's for 24? Ye blind guides. <laughs> Which train at a gnat. Ooh, so, so small. And swallow a camel. How, how you gonna swallow a whole camel? <laughs> you you other words, the bad you do the bad phase. Yeah. But you go you see you, oh, here, you went to the club last night. See? See you see what I'm saying is yeah. they they take small things mm -hmm. to condemn people. Why at the same time they'll do something that's huge and 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 then do you know what I'm gonna take some part of the, of the the law like like I said mm -hmm. we talk about abortion right the abortion is good in the sense yeah I believe the conception of a child life is important we yeah. both agree with that but the child being born is just as important yeah but the and other it, thing is my, my main thing to this is, yes, it's wrong to do an abortion, to have an abortion. Mm -hmm. But what's even more wrong is to act as God mm -hmm. and take away free will, mm -hmm. choice, mm -hmm. because God didn't do that. And mm -hmm. if God didn't do that, then what gives man the authority to take away one's choice and one's freedom of you know to to mm -hmm. up the freedom of choice yeah and but it's, and i let's go back to that scripture right here again is that you this is a net piece because you what you just talked about is freedom of choice right let's talk about i'm just talking about abortion itself right yeah to me that's there's your net but yeah. the entire life cycle yeah. of the person is to grade is the camel you yeah. see my point yeah because now we, we don't worry about we took some second amendments right we want to say no we want people to have assault weapon <laughs> despite the fact that it's used to kill children in school right yeah. or or go and do mass shooting and that's life that's taken we talk about uh like the police themselves shooting people and and, and, and over the smallest thing and at the same time, when it comes to their own, some people, you know, when it comes to their own group, yeah. there, there's no fear for your life, you know? And, and I didn't have to pull my weapon on, on that person, but I need to see your hands. <laughs> I mean, look at this. I mean, when it comes to the, the police, you know, mm -hmm. uh, why won't you snitch on these people? Because, you know, you ain't doing nothing but holding that to yourself, putting mm -hmm. yourself in their position. You're gonna do crime for them, and then they do the same thing. They don't they do the same the thing. Blue, the blue wall. 
Yeah, it's yeah. Different. Yeah, same thing. And and it's just so sad when you think about it. But that's the difference to me of swallowing the, a camel. Yeah. And, and but going after a net. Straining for a net. Yes, sir. What else you got? It says, woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye make clean the mm. outside of the cup mm. and of the platters, but within they are full of extortion mm. and excess. Yes. Thou blind Pharisees. Yes. Cleans first that which is within the cup. Within. And yes. That the outside of them may be clean also. Yeah. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. I mean, mm. I, they just throw them all together. Mm hmm. Equally. <laughs> yes, sir. For ye are like unto whited sepulchers, mm -hmm. which indeed appear beautiful outward, mm. but are within full of. He got frozen again on me. He coming back. He'll be back. <laughs> For those who are listening, he'll be, hey, look, you'll be back. I tell you, you froze again on it because you get ready to say something, weren't you? You read something and you did you get a comment on that one? No, I was just reading <laughs> the next one. Well, the point is, though, is the fact is, it's the inside. Yeah. Remember, God judges the heart, right? We're, we're focused on trying to make an outward appearance. When reality, the cleaning is on the inside. You know what I mean? Yeah. And the only way you can clean the inside is by the word of God. You know what I mean? To work on you and, and work on the inside of you. I'm saying this, if you put the effort on the outward appearance, you, you, you're you not taking, you're not addressing the true issues. Does that make sense? Yeah. For the person. That's all I'm just saying on that. So he's like, you, the, the tombs and stuff look great. Now, you know how you put a brand new tomb up and that looks great. But inside the tomb, right? Inside the grave, as what dead men bones yeah yeah interesting go ahead start. go ahead what would you do so that was 28 was 29 okay woe unto you scribes and pharisees hypocrites because you build the tomb of the prophets and god is the sepulcher of the righteous i think i think some of the bad will get frozen again and you you spill you you got frozen again. Could you hear no, me when I'm talking? No, you froze. <laughs> oh, you were the one that froze. <laughs> we both froze then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, this particular one was the fact is that you you see the hypocrisy of what is that was 29, right? Warned you scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, because you build the tomb of the prophets, right? Uh -huh. And God is the sepulchers of the righteous. And and we're gonna go to the next verse, but I'm saying that reminds me of people building those statues of the Confederacy yeah. and everything, right? And go look at what the verse next verse say. It says, and say, if we had been in the days of our fathers, mm -hmm. we would not have been partakers with them <laughs> in the blood of the prophets. Well, uh, you would have killed them too, because they would have been going against what you was trying to your agenda. Exactly. But he said the fact is in verse 31, what he said. He says, Wherefore ye be witnesses unto yourselves that ye are the children of them which killed the prophets. You come up. And what that makes you then? He says, Fill ye up then the measure of your fathers. Ooh. Ye Ooh. serpents. You generation of vipers. Ooh. How can you escape the damnation of hell? Ooh, and people, the only reason I want to throw that at you is when people listen to this, everybody listen to this scripture. If you say, I have not been a slave owner, if you say that I have no issues with, you know, color, right? If you sit there and say, why do I need to apologize and everything else? You, you admitting though at the same time that you are the children of the people who did it. Yeah. And what he's saying, fill you up the measure of your fathers. Mm -hmm. 
in you serpents, you generation of vipers. What? Because they pass it on to, do you yeah. know, they, they pass that hate. Oh yeah, they push, they push it right on to them. They, they train up a child. They train the up a child. the way they should go. Exactly. And we're not putting those people down because, you know, the, what we're talking, well, I'm not saying we're putting them, not putting them down. What we're saying is that the grace and mercy is for you too. Yeah. To just that you recognize what your generation you came from. Remember how they want to change, people want to change history and everything else, right? Try to try to water it down. Opposed to saying is there were some bad things that yeah. happened. And if we don't change, we just as guilty as they. Especially when we want to honor them, right? We want to yeah. give them statues. That's that's all I was looking at on that. Then we can always make Put that down later. Go ahead. What else you got? <laughs> so, wherefore, behold, I send unto you prophets, mm. and wise men, mm. and scribes, and some of them ye shall kill and mm. crucify, mm. and some of them shall you scourge in mm. your synagogue, mm. and persecute them from city to mm. city, mm. that upon you may come all the righteous bloodshed upon the mm. earth. Of course. The blood of the righteous, for the blood of righteous. Mm. Abel unto the mm. blood of Zacharias, son of Barakas, mm -hmm. whom ye slew between the temple and the altar. Mm -hmm. Verily I say unto you, all these things shall come upon this generation. And that's interesting. First of all, we're talking about the assassinations that occurred. Martin Luther King, John F. Kennedy, Abraham Lincoln, and all the other type of assassinations occurred upon wise men. And then you even crucify some people in the church. Yeah. Some of the leaders and stuff, some of the prophets, you know, some of the prophets. I Maybe mean, they don't like some of the prophets yeah. that, that, that of, tell you of, the truth. Of pastors mm -hmm. that were crucified Come on. by being hung. Mm. Killed, mm. you know, uh, mutilated mm. because they were preaching the gospel. They were they preaching were, the gospel. They were giving the truth, and Deep. the truth were making these people free. Deep. And those who wanted them bound couldn't Deep. have it. Deep. And he said, Verily I say you, all these things have come upon this generation. Yeah. That is something as a warning shot that he's trying to tell people. That's why he went in Galatians when he said, who bewitched you to go back to the law? Because of the law, they could not understand Messiah when he came. They could not recognize him when he well, came. They, 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 they couldn't because they weren't of him. Mm. And we just saw mm. who he was for. He was for the prophets and the scribes. Not the scribes that were along with the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Mm -mm. You know, the, the, these people set in Moses' seat. Wow. The, they were imposters. Mm. They were they said, outliers. Yeah. They, were, it, they were colonizers. And I like to, well, come on, Dad, you're talking now. That's, that's what we're trying to tell people. Understand. And that's more well, deeper conversation anyway, right? To go, but the point is that's that's the whole, that's the issue. Yeah. And he, he said the damnation is going to come on those because they fill up the cup of your father, right? You know what I mean? So repent is what we're saying, people. That, that this gospel, Christ is saying the same thing. He he said repent. Yeah. You know, and Just, what, this is what's was was awesome. This is this is agape. Yes, sir. If they would repent, yeah, and accept Yeshua yes. as their Adonai, yes, that they will be forgiven of all that, mm. and the generations before them mm. will not be tied to them. Come on, bro. That's the key, right? I like that piece right there. Would not be tied to them. Yes. Because Opposed now to... you're tied Ooh, go to, ahead. You know, to, to the last Adam. Come on. Come on. And the oh, last I like Adam only. 
Mm. I, not your physical father, because we just read. Mm -hmm. You have mm. one father. Come on, brother. Is the most high. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I love the part you said about if you caught you caught it, and and we can let people restate it. The fact is, there's a difference between Moses' seat and Joshua's seat. Yeah. Because both of them were leaders, right? One gave the law. Joshua delivered them into the promised land. The lawgiver could not go into the promised land. He could see it. Ooh, wow. He could see it, but he couldn't go in. Because yeah. he gave and, the law. And, and check this out. So the law came, mm -hmm. and it was given to Moses mm -hmm. to give to the people. Mm -hmm. But that law kept Moses where he was. Mm -hmm. Then faith came, mm. and faith went into the final promised mm. land, which is heaven. Mm. Deep. So, do you want the law, the written law, or do you mm. want grace, mm. grace that came by faith? By faith. And, and look, matter of fact, and, and, and I'm sorry, I'm, we'll wrap it up with this. This is because we definitely got to go. But look, look at this. Look, look. And, and he, he, I'm bringing the, uh, I don't know why I cut it off, but the, the uh, Esword Bible, right? Uh -huh. The one I wanted to pull out, and if I don't get a chance to get to it, is Galatians 3, we talked about. Remember? The schoolmaster, mm -hmm. right? See, the schoolmaster was there until faith came. Yeah. The schoolmaster referred not by the law, but by the promise. Yeah. Whoa, you see the difference? Yeah. It's the promise that separates the Moses seat and Christ's seat mm -hmm. or Joshua's seat. Joshua went and took the the inheritance yeah. the promise that what isn't that what the promise God gave uh, uh, Abraham Abraham he said you're gonna you're you gonna inherit this land didn't he mm -hmm. he didn't inherit that land by the law but by promise yeah. and that's what you, you you I think you pointed out before and that's the I guess you, well, you will start to read that and close up with what what was the best start at 22 or uh, 21? Yeah, I'll go oh. from 21. Is the law then against the promise of God? God forbid. No. For if there had been a law given which could have given life, mm. barely righteousness should have been by the law. <laughs> because the, the law showed us our unrighteous state and yes. how far we were from the righteousness of God. Come on. That's all it did. And it That's... exposed it in a way that made the sin increase. Interesting. Interesting. 22. But the scriptures have concluded all under sin mm. that the promise by faith mm. of Yeshua Hamashiach mm. might be given to them that believe mm. not that do but not that believe that believe. That believe not that follow mm. but that believe come on brother because if you believe yes. then you just do just do <laughs> yeah and receive <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 but before faith came we were kept under the law shut up unto the faith which should afterward be revealed. Did that kind of line up with the part about those people that were shutting up the kingdom? Yes. You know, the, the ones we read? They shut up the kingdom. Yeah. The law shuts up the kingdom. Yeah. 
and the people who enforces the law don't even enter in themselves and they suffer not for those who are trying to enter in you come oh you ain't been in the law you can't come in here you see what i'm saying <laughs> Deep. That's a, boy. That could be a nap. Oh, I'm just the, trying to grasp that because <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm looking at the law didn't bring faith. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. But faith came, and the law is in you now. Y yes, yes, yes. It, 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 it absorbed the law. Yes, sir. And so. You, you couldn't apply faith to the law. It just didn't work because you it couldn't didn't keep the law. <laughs> to me, it, it, to me, it's like the law was to shut up. The law was keeping you from the kingdom. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it did. That's what it, saw, that's what it says, right? It revealed, it revealed how far you, the kingdom <laughs> was from you. It's like... It's, <laughs> Man, it's so far over there. <laughs> you ain't coming in. You ain't coming in. You ain't coming in. Man, that game is so far, man. I don't know if I can make it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, it kind of reminds me of Abraham, Lazarus, and the rich man. He said, this, besides this, there's a great gulf. Hey, this is how it was. The law came. Uh -huh. And Moses couldn't go to the promised land. Even under the law himself, under right? Under the law himself. Yes, sir. The law can't he, get he, you into He this. brought the law and the law kept him in the wilderness. Hey, hey, matter of fact, he was sent up to a high mountain to see it from a Yeah, all you can do is look at it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what all those people who try to do by the law is just looking at just it. Just look at it. Man, that is something. That is deep. He, the wisdom you try because keep the law, all you can do is look at the glory of God, <laughs> but you can't have it. And then you, you have the dash. Look, huh? you're kept naked. Exactly. You're, and you're then you kept have, <laughs> naked. Yes, sir. And then you but have the dash to keep other people from coming in too. Mm. <laughs> People, I hope y'all get this. I hope somebody get this one day when they see this. I hope somebody get to that point, even get to that, because we're already way into the hours of it, right? But you see what I'm saying? If somebody even had the, if you listen to this piece, but I think the problem, hopefully, I hope it won't be a problem, but you know, you have to go through, you have to actually follow us as we get God's revelation revealed to us. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. That's the only sad thing about it is, whether the person has a patient, but I believe God will call the person who wants he wants to hear it to hear it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. They can always we ain't ask you, you ain't gotta look at this all at one bite anyway. You can <laughs> you can break it down yourself and I come back you, and this, finish. This is a message that I, I'm gonna put together. Yes sir. And come on. Uh, it's all gonna stem from and they knew they were naked. And they knew, oh, I like that. They and knew they, they knew they were naked. They lost the spirit of God. They knew they were naked. Mm. And mm. then when the the, the Ruach Akadish mm. or Elohim, when, when that came, mm. when the Holy Spirit came down mm. and was shed through the acceptance of Christ, then mm. you were clothed again. You were no longer naked. And this is the proof. This is the proof. And the sad thing, Adam I, and Eve, they hid from God. They, they hid did. From, their, from their nakedness. And yes. they would not expose themselves. But mm. when the spirit of God mm. overshadows you and, 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 and you accept Christ, mm. then those things that you were ashamed of, Mm. are crowns of glory and they are weapons to free mm. others who are bound in that so you are not no longer naked by those mm. things mm. the glory of god covers that and it's used as a weapon against the ungodly d and i hate the fact is that the 
the, some people said that the revelation, the churches in the book of Revelation are also generations of the growth or the periods, church periods leading toward the end time. Yeah. And the point was that church of Laodicea on block Adam and Eve, they didn't know they were naked. Yeah. yeah. Miserable. They said, I got all this wealth. I have need of nothing. Yeah. And yet the eyes of God looking inside, they're miserable, wretched, and naked. Isn't yeah, that something? We, we, we saw what the woe said. He said, yeah, yeah. They were like yeah. a, a tomb, whitewashed tomb. Mm. And, and the close of it is, because I'm going to definitely, have, we're going to go try to go to the service here, is the fact is that you, therefore, you were, you want to, you can finish up, but we definitely go, go ahead, all the way go through. Ahead. Go ahead. Wherefore, the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto the anointed one, to the yeah. Messiah, to the way that we might be justified, not by the law, but by faith. But after the faith has come, we're no longer under a schoolmaster. That's the only thing I want to be able to tell the people. You're not under a schoolmaster anymore. For if you are all, once again, what's, good, what's his will again? For all men to be saved. Yes. Right? For you are all the children of God by faith. That's the qualifier. Yes, sir. That's the qualification. That's the qualification. You just can't say everybody is children of God. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You can't stop there. Right. Just because you can't say, like you said, you can't say all men will be saved. All you say, yeah. he will for all men to be saved. But the qualification is by faith in Christ, Yeshua. Yeah. There is neither. And now he's trying to tell you that I am talking about the whole world. I am talking about John 3.16. Yes. I am talking about all the families of the earth. I am talking about all the nations of the earth. By faith, you are neither Jew nor Greek in my eyes. You are neither bond nor free in my eyes. You are neither male nor female in my eyes. For you are all one in Christ, the anointed one. Yeshua, Joshua. And if you be just like Joshua, if you be in the anointing, not the humanity piece, but the anointing piece, if you be in Christ, you know that they left the Yeshua name off, right? They left mm -hmm. Jesus' name off. They left Joshua name off. Because it's the anointing that makes the difference. If you be in the anointing, then you are who? Abraham's seed yes. and heir according to the promise. That's the whole gist of it. That's where we have to go and close up with this. But, you know, milk this people. Read these scriptures again for yourself. These scriptures are so packed with revelation and, 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 yeah. and, and, and mercy and grace. Is that don't be like the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Don't be like the hypocrites. You know, just, I was just looking at that on 29. Mm -hmm. It says, if ye be Christ. Yes, sir. Christ means, this, the this original is, Amashe, Messiah, right? Amashe yeah. is the anointed one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So it's saying, if you be anointed. Yes, sir. That's what Christ-like means. Yes, sir. Then ye are Abraham's seed. Yes, sir. And you can call yourself a Christian. And uh -huh. believe that you are Abraham's seed, but without the anointing, anointing. Uh -huh. which is receiving Yeshua as your yeah. Adonai, yes, sir, as Come your Lord and Savior, yeah, then you are not Abraham's seed. No, and you're you not are in not it. a part of the promise. And you got to be part of it. Technically, you can even be in the body. It's one body. You see what I'm saying? You have to be in the body. It's the key. You have to be in the anointing. You need to be in the promise. You need to understand that that's the only way we're going to come in as one. You know? Racism does not apply. So you got frozen a minute. Death freeze on you? Because yeah. I, I could hear me talking, but I couldn't see you moving. But the point I'm saying is be in the anointed one. 
let's close with that. God bless you. Hey, see you, either see you in the rest of the week or see you next uh, Sunday. Yes. God bless. God bless. All right. Thank you, brother. Mm -hmm. <laughs>